All right, so we just arrived at the Flack Lake launch here in the Mississauga Provincial Park. Yeah. Just me and Jason here this weekend. Yeah. And we're out for the adventure of a lifetime. We just saw some fishermen who said that this is going to be a tough trip. So but we're gonna find we're gonna find out what our fate is on this one. But the fishing's gonna be amazing. Fishing's gonna be tight. Look at that. Look at that view already. Doesn't get much better than that. So we just did the first portage of our trip from Flack Lake into Bruce Lake. And it was uphill. Yeah, it's an uphill <laughs> battle, but it's good. It didn't look like we were going up the big mountain, but like it kind of felt like it when we were on the portage. <laughs> but it was a clear trail, so we're just gonna finish up here. We have the canoe and the last couple items to take up and on to the next one. Yeah, it's another really clear lake, eh? Take a look at that rock face. So, the 500 meter portage was definitely an uphill battle, and we're about to find out what the 800 has in store for us. I think we found the portage to Olympus Lake. Hey Pooch, what are you saying over there? Oh, hey! So it's a little rocky at the beginning of this portage, so we're just gonna bring everything over in lighter loads so that we don't hurt ourselves. Is that a loon to our left? It very well might be. It is. Hello, Mr. Loon. We, oh, I don't have the right, I should definitely have the other lens on. So we are currently on Olympus Lake. We have a very short paddle before our next portage, which is the longest portage of the day. We just want to kick this one in the butt, get it done, and then push on. We started a little later today than we wanted to because, well, it started with traffic last night and a road closure on Highway 69 and... So we are a little bit behind schedule, but we're still trying to see how far we can push today, so. And apparently there's lake trout on this lake, so we're running some line. Turtles are so cool. They are, man. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Actually, my fishing rod. <laughs> well, at least it didn't go far. And we made it to Astonish Lake. Yeah! So we're in Astonish Lake right now. We just finished the 1100 meter portage. We have another 650 meter portage coming up right after this into Esma. Yeah. Esma Lake. And that's where we're in a camp tonight. So we're almost there. I think it's 730? 723, yeah. 723 right now. We're almost there. And we're just hanging out on this log right now. Wanna hold that up for everyone? Oh yeah. We're just hanging out on the log right now. 
about to send it and paddle on. It's time to complete our final portage of the day from Astonish Lake going into Ezra Lake. No, Esna. Esna Lake. Esna. Esna. <laughs> 650 meters, let's punch it out. So it is starting to get dark and we are finishing up this portage just pretty much in the nick of time. As long as, long as you're not legitimately tripping, like breaking an ankle or something, I think we're okay. It's kind of cool portaging at this time of night. Definitely a different vibe. There's a bit of an eeriness to the forest. Or sombre. No idea what he's going on about right now. But I'm going to roll with it because we're almost there. Alright, so we made it to Esma Lake. It is 8.45. The sun is shining. Just kidding, that's my flashlight. And so we are going to go try to find our site for the night. This one actually might not be bad. Good morning. It is day two and we're on Esma Lake right now. We woke up to a little bit of rain this morning, but luckily we were well prepared for it. We set up a nice tarp last night over our tent. Somehow a low spot in the ground has made a puddle underneath our tent, but we're still dry. It's always a nice gesture before you leave your campsite, if you're able to leave some wood for the next people. This example they helped us last night. We got here at about nine o'clock last night and it was pretty well pitch black, but there was a pile of wood waiting for us and it was pretty much dry. So we hope to leave some wood for the next people as well. How often do you get your own little slice of the world, eh? This is what we do it for. This is what those crazy portages are for. The occasional struggle. Makes it all worth it. All right, so the sun finally decided to grace us with its presence. We're just trying to soak in the rays right now. We had some nice peanut butter bacon wraps for breakfast this morning with some coffee, little Baileys, just enjoying ourselves. We woke up to rain this morning, but now it's kind of cleared up. So might as well enjoy. It's very important before you leave any campsite to make sure that you sweep up after yourself. Can't leave any trace. Look at all of these boats, which would make you think that it is good for fishing, except for we did not get a bite on the way over here. <laughs> Jay, we're skunk so far. Yeah, no, it's, it's not Can't great. Happen. It can't happen. 
the first portage of the day, so we say hey. Hey. How you doing? We're gonna do this portage. Boom, 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 boom. We portage in. Do the portage dance. <laughs> What's the portage dance? You know it. Come on, do it. Do I? Do the portage dance. No, I'm not doing the portage dance. <laughs> We're down there, it's just a question of whether the fish are down there now. <laughs> they gotta be somewhere. There's only so many places they can hide. Well, that's just it, right? Like, how many places can a fish hide? Well, quite a few actually if you look lake, at the lake dude. yeah yeah like the whole lake <laughs> any square foot of this entire lake <laughs> yeah <laughs> at whatever depth it is